Join us this week as we head to Kangaroo Island, where there is an abundance of wildlife, oh my God. the most incredible beaches, and Alex catches a thump yeah. of a fish. Wow! Wow! Whoa! I'm Bunty, and this is Alex. Join us as we go on the search for the best for driving, fishing, and surfing in Australia. Guess what today is? Wednesday. <laughs> but it's also... Kangaroo Island time. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're just packing up camp now and mm. about to get on the barge and head over there. We have no idea what we're in for, so mm. see what we can find. Maybe some kangaroos. See you over on the island of kangaroos. Mm. This bread style life. Yeah, that looks like you're eating concrete. Mm. We pulled up to Vivone Bay. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong because I most likely am. What do you think it is? Vivian. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we've kind of pulled in late. It's like nearly five o'clock, so we've just pulled up on the side of the road. I'm just pulling over here for the night. Pretty cute little bay. It's actually such a big island. Like, it took us an hour from the ferry just to drive That's here. Massive. I started getting grumpy in the car because he was getting tired and get hungry. Grumpy. The fact I had to go from 110 to 20 space of 50 meters. Is that what made you angry? Yes. No, okay. Interesting. Anyway, we're gonna make dinner. Um, last night I heard someone coming up the ladder and I was freaking out. I looked down and it's just a possum climbing up the ladder. Pretty sure he was playing around in our board bag all last night and he's managed to find our bin. We should have closed it up. But that's how we'll pick it up and close it back up. There's plenty of possums around here. <laughs> Oh, we're going to go back over to Vidian Bay. <laughs> <laughs> he changed his name every time you say it. We go over there and have a little flick on the beach. All right, let's go have a flick. I'm gonna go walk down the beach a bit here and try to see what's going on in that little washy zone over there. If you guys are wondering the setup, this is what it is. Gomaku, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's it there. Eight to 12 kilo, 30 to 80 grams. Stratic, 5,000. Come on. There you are. Oh. Little nice salmon there. And the 30 gram twisty. Chuck him back. There you go, mate. The sun is out and it looks mad. Jickle. That's thing. Wow. Watch this, boys. Come on. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, no. Dropped.
Yep. Wow. Wow. Whoa. What? What? Woo! Yes. Are you kidding? Wow. What? This thing's going inside. Wow. Come on. Wow. Whew, nice. Salmon. Big school out there, he went ballistic, eh? That's pretty nice. He's heavy. Frothing. Yeah, I'll keep one for lunch. I'm gonna pepper for a little longer. Here we go. This is insane. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow, these things fight so hard. What? Wow. Bending. Well, another really nice one. Not as big, but still really nice. Oh, these beasts of a salmon. Pretty solid, pretty sick. Ronnie spot, spotted a, she was on the drone, she bought, spotted a big school salmon. And I was like, oh, I'll run down there and try to get one, but I thought they were really far out back. And literally first cast, bang, hooked one. And they just went insane, eh? They are pretty decent. Seven. I just wanted to keep one, but I couldn't get the hooks out of one. It was like buried in there, so we got two. Um, now that Alex has got his fish, we are going to Maybe head further around. Um, there's some bays further that way that are a little bit more out of the wind. Might try and find camp there and set up and yeah. cook up a little salmon feast. Insane power of power. Yeah, you're loving it. Alex it goes so, so crazy. Nice. Every car is just like, bang. You know, they go so hard. Tuck her up here and head further around and try and find a nice little camp spot. Yeah, let's do it. Just when we didn't think the beaches could get any better on Kangaroo Island, we found this bay. It's an aquatic reserve for the protection of the breeding sea lion colony. So although there was no fishing or camping allowed here, it was the perfect spot to cook up and enjoy some lunch. It looks like veggie mine. Nah, this is so, it's like salty. Yeah. And it'll stick to the um, sesame seeds. Yeah, that's right. I'm setting this time I know. I would change my way to the sesame seeds. Alright? Yeah, it's really good. All the taste like it's fine. Like if you guys haven't tried that miso and sesame oh. recipe, it's so, so yummy. Kind of gives it a bit of like an Asian infusion to kind of. Oh, it's so good, taste. eh? Really good on um, freshly seared tuna, too. Tuna is probably the best for it, but you can do it on anything. 
Oh, look at that. They're yummy. Mmm. I love I don't know if that's so, so good. Do you actually like it? That's heaps better. The other day, the head of the salmon tasted like like paint almost. But I think it's because we put this. Oh yeah, I melted well, that. Well, Alex put it onto the, onto um, the our drifted yeah. fireplace on the grill and started heating up and melting. Nearly stuck to the fireplace. But um, made it taste a bit funny. But it tastes so good. When I was young, I Alex on Warshop Duty. And that is how you can grow on. <laughs> if there was more swell, this right hander here would be good. Well, look at the shape on it. Look at this little thing. Yeah. Do you want to go for a swim with me? Yeah, let's go. This beach is like my favourite. It's so nice. It's, we're the only ones here. It's so cool. The water's so clear. Oh, there I am. Ready? You see what Get in the water! Woo! Watch the wheelie. Kangaroo Island exceeded expectations. Yeah. Kangaroo Island, yeah, definitely worth going. We've only been to two spots and it's exceeded. Yeah. As there's no camping at this bay, we headed back to our original campsite to settle in for the afternoon and discovered a weirdly alternative way to cook fish fingers. What are you doing? Making breadcrumbs out of shapes. <laughs> <laughs> How come? The corner shop didn't have breadcrumbs and I'm going to do some fish fingers. Crunching these things up. Chicken crimpy shapes. See if it works as breadcrumbs. Ronnie, there's a lot of activity happening. Oh my God. I think they're about to hit something psycho. Oh my God, I got that. Oh, oh, they're in, whoa. Whoa. What? Eggs with breadcrumbs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. We've also been blessed with the most magical afternoon. Ah, Kangaroo Island is so underrated, it's so good. I think because it's an island too, it's like so quiet, it's really good. Alex, what's your, what been your favourite thing about Kangaroo Island so far? Um, the psycho salmon attack. Loves the salmon. Do you want to know what my favourite thing was? What was your favourite thing? Finding my most favourite beach on Kangaroo Island. It was so pretty. You weren't allowed to go in there though, so because it's like a seal sanctuary. It's so quiet, no one around. Apparently there's like a two-day trail you can do from there, so that'd be awesome to do one day. Shake it like a follow by pizza. Um, show us your most used utensil. Is it paint scraper but gets used as a scratcher? That's actually the only camping utensil we have. Oh my god. They are dirty little fish fingers. Dirty, eh? Yeah. Dirty, dirty little fish fingers. A pinch of lime would be really nice, I reckon. Right? Yeah. I mean. Mm. That works so well, the shape. Does that?
With some cloudy weather setting in, we took the opportunity to explore the National Park. We checked out the lighthouse, an archway, tons of seals and a couple of remarkable rocks, oddly shaped over 500 million years of erosion. After dragging Alex up some stairs and visiting a beach only accessible via a cave, we headed to the other side of the island for a surprisingly beautiful camp. Everyone does the little two finger wave over here. On the one finger, eh? One finger. Here we go, we got, we got a car got coming. One. Dinner. Sorry. <laughs> Come again. This is the last bit of salmon left, so we're going to put it in a bit of a curry and have that with a little bit of potato chips. Alex on cooking duties as per usual. Always make sure you have clean hands when you're cooking at all times. Oh, really? Why is that? Hygiene, darling. Don't want your germ. You know a little secret of cutting onion? Yeah. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. Ramsay's back. If you don't cut the end off, it won't squirt in your eyes. It holds all the juices together. And you just make little slits and just munch away. Trying to serve up. Yeah. That looks good. If you're wondering where we went, <laughs> um, a couple Max and Gemma pulled up in their van. Absolute legends. We just chatted to them for like, like nearly an hour. That was so cool. But we're gonna go to the brewery with them tomorrow, but also have a surf in the morning with them. Legends. But yeah, end to another day. Yeah, no, that was cool, eh? Yeah, that was sick. Hopefully the surf's on shore, we go straight to the pub. <laughs> Sunshine. Oh, that's a zone. A bit chilly this morning. Yeah, it was like not a cloud in the sky last night. It was so cold sleeping, but it's a beautiful day today. And look at these bad boys. That's, look how dirty they are. That's the hands of a fire pit cleaner. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna get some mitts. We're gonna go check the surf. There's like a surf break. Um, just five minutes down the road. And yeah, finish at the Bury with a beer. Yeah. How's the condensation? Is that on the inside too? Is it? Oh, it is. The whole car's a bit wet. Ask our little one-way wonder. Yeah. How was it? Um, yeah, it was fun. Eh? It looked better than uh, it, it looked better than what it was. Um, it was better than it looked. It was better than it was. Try one more time. It, it looked better than wait, it was better than what it was. What, bro? What are you talking about? Um, Ronnie was ripping out there. She put on the clinic. Alex didn't. 
put a clinic on. Alex's leg's still pretty sore, but better. Maybe three weeks, I reckon. Three yeah. weeks, and I can like do a turn. I'll be pretty happy. Uh, okay. That was actually so much more fun than it looked. I think because yeah. it was so far away that it looked small, but once you're out there, it got a bit bigger. That was fun. Nice to get wet. Nice to do a turn. <laughs> oh, it's so warm. I have not been cold in this. It's just my hands and my chin that get cold. My chin goes numb and then I can't talk properly because it's like stiff. What did you just ask? Can you breathe on Mars? <laughs> no. Yeah, I know, but you remember how Elon Musk was saying that he's gonna like get like climate, like move people to Mars and stuff? Yeah, but you need spacesuits and then like a space environment. Like you set up a space dome. Oh, you and go then you living. don't wear a mask. Yeah. But then you float. Yes. It's kind of annoying women. So many people just do poos randomly on the street and watch their poos fly around. Yuck, that's so disgusting. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do a bush poo. No, you couldn't. You'd do a space poo. Look at that. Oh, he's slipping a little dog.